All right, today's video, I'm gonna explain to you uh, how to replace the lower steering shaft on a JK Wrangler 2007 to 2011. Okay, basically this part right here uh, is right here inside the engine. It connects right here to the steering shaft. The steering wheel is through the firewall and then it goes down to the steering box over there. It's basically one 13 millimeter bolt on the bottom and one on the top. This is the bottom one. You take that bolt out, this slides right out. And the same thing with the top one, you turn the steering, you get the 13 millimeter bolt out of here and you pull it out. It's very easy to do. Why you replace this is because like on my particular vehicle, this is supposed to move. This thing is frozen, it don't move. So when you go, when you're going over the bump, over bumps and the suspension, everything flexes, the steering is gonna smooth so you don't feel it in the steering wheel. Or you may hear a clunk over sharp bumps. And chances are it's this shaft. Um, I replaced mine because it really, you know, had nothing to do with the um, grease whatsoever. It was just, it was just frozen. Um, you can try to take the boot off and grease them, but you have to take it off. Some people just put a little grease in here and they hope it goes in the splines. If, if you know, that's not going to really work. You have to take the, the shaft out. Like I said, it's not that hard to do. And if yours does move, that's fine. But when you do, you have to mark it. Well, you don't have to mark it when you take it off because it only goes on one way. It's basically a keyway. Um... When you put the bolt in there, there's gonna be like a little groove, so it only goes one way. And you do not turn the steering wheel once it's off because if you turn it too much, you can rip the, the uh, clock spring out. Just leave the, the steering where it is when you take it off. And another thing is if you don't wanna pull this all the way out because if you pull this all the way out, you're gonna mess up the splines and you, your steering is gonna be off. So what you do is you pull it out almost to the end and you can grease it really good Make sure it moves up and down nice. And you can put another little clamp here and there. Let me show you what it looks like on this side. That's the same thing, it's all splines. But in the meantime, this one does not move at all. And sometimes the joints are no good. So, you know, they give you that, when you go over those hard, sharp bump, 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 bump you'll feel it in the steering wheel. This is supposed to be moving in and out. And it, you know, if they freeze up like that, that'll give you that problem. And also if these bolts, these 13 millimeter bolts, over here are not tight could also give you that little clanking noise all right so basically I put a new shift in there and it's easy to do so and that's it all right guys motor car 2020 um, I'll see you guys in the next video please subscribe hit that like button and I'll talk to you soon thank you